short assignment. It's about eight minutes long. And that assignment is due now. Please make sure your name is on it and please turn it in. Incomplete. Um, let's see what we have here for incomplete. Um, okay, Michael, you turned in. You turned in a couple of assignments. One was due and one was early, um, which is great. I need this assignment still by Friday right here or it will become a permanent zero. Um, I got your test yesterday, um, Kobe. So, Caitlin and Michael, you still owe me um, uh, uh, a test by today, actually. Um, maybe the only thing I need to get to get from you by Friday is test corrections. <coughs> Reagan, I got your review sheet. And uh, Kobe, I got your review sheet. Um, so, there we go with that. Um, and uh, so take care of that, please, Libby. You did not turn in Monday's assignment yesterday, okay? So you have until Friday, and that'll be it to get that turned in. All right, moving on. Um, today we're going to take a quiz and take notes. That's it, no homework. Let me explain what we are doing for the next three or four class periods. <clears throat> I hope you will really listen to me. We are going to totally leave your textbook, and we're going to study a topic called factoring. Now, when I told you guys earlier in chapter 8, the last chapter we covered, when I told you guys then, you had better know how to write exponential expressions logarithmically and logarithmic expressions exponentially. When I told you guys that, you found out I wasn't kidding, was I? <clears throat> that was probably one of the most important things you learned in the chapter when I told you that. Guys, I know what's important and what's really important. Factoring might be the most important topic we look at this year. It's definitely one of the most important for the entire year. In fact, the videos you're going to watch for the next three to four days are the exact same videos you start off with next year in pre-calculus class because factoring is so important. I don't allow any of my pre-cal students to take pre-cal unless I know for sure they can factor. So we're going to look at factoring now for the next three to four days. <clears throat> so the videos you're going to listen to today is back in the day when my voice was actually pretty good, if not really good, okay? So that'll be a nice change for you guys. But the homework assignments you're going to be working on the next three or four days are going to be video homework assignments. They're not out of your book, and I'll, I'll get to that later, okay? Today there's no homework, so I'm not really, excuse me, <clears throat> I'm not really worried about that, okay? All right, so that's what we're going to be doing for the next three to four class periods is factoring, 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 okay? And if you don't learn this, you're simply making a huge mistake. That's all I can say. It will come back to haunt you, guaranteed. All right, okay. Um, the videos today are about factoring two different types of trinomials, okay? Here's what they're called. You're going to learn to factor trinomials with the lead coefficient of 1, and you're going to learn to factor trinomials without a lead coefficient of 1. Got it? Now, there's no homework. If you don't finish the two videos, which I understand you probably won't, you are more than welcome to finish those videos tonight if you wish. However, you don't have to. I'm going to let you finish those tomorrow and work on homework tomorrow. Just make a note of where you stopped and you may finish it tomorrow. There will be homework tomorrow also. The last day, this will be the last time I mentioned the retake. One of you has told me you're going to take a retake. <clears throat> you have not done that, so after today I'm not going to mention that again. Now, next Tuesday is it? Let me look at my day timer here. Actually, I'm not sure if I have it written down, but next Tuesday or Wednesday or something. I think it's Tuesday. Um, you guys have the opportunity to take the ACT test at Berean. Uh, the juniors do, so Kobe and Grant, you cannot. The rest of you, um, Henry, you're in a class by yourself. Reagan, Michael, um, Libby, uh, Caitlin, Aaron, Brandon, uh, Grace, I think that's everyone. You have a chance um, to t take that, but I have to know because here's why. It's going to run from the morning until noon, right after homeroom until noon. So if all of you are taking it, then we're not going to have class that day. But if just two or three of you are, we have to move on. You understand that? So I need to know exactly how many are taking that by Friday. So I'm going to ask you today, I'm going to ask you tomorrow, and I'm going to ask you Friday. So please go home and ask your parents. I think there's a $39 or $40 charge if you take it. 
so I do need to know, okay? Okay, let's go over your quizzes. Remember, if you're in the room, then you take the quiz. So please pause the video, make sure you get a quiz, and then restart the video. Okay, one through five. Uh, simplify your answers. You must write, your answers must be written in standard form. So make sure you write your answers in standard form. Okay, number one, subtraction, two, addition, three, four, and five, multiplication. Six, three, eleven. Use the given polynomial function to answer the questions below. Write it in standard form. What's the lead coefficient? What's the degree? What's the maximum number of turns? Number ten, what's the left side characteristic? In other words, is it going to go up <clears throat> or is it going to go down? Right side characteristic, is the graph going to go up or down? Okay, you should know all of that. So there you go. That's exactly um, what I told you guys would be on the quiz. All right, that's all for today.